Hi everybody, I'm Eric Smith Meyer and I'm going to be your instructor for the for, for the rest of the semester in this course. Okay. And uh, you know that Fenella she had uh, physical attendance in her in her class, in her lectures. Um, I'm not going to have physical uh, lectures. I'm only going to make these uh, these videos, uh, these lecture videos, which I post on Canvas. Okay, uh, and in addition to these lecture videos, um, I'm going to uh, make some some uh, uh, response videos for your questions, and um, uh, you have to send your questions to the 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 discussion sites on on canvas okay so that everyone can see your questions and my answer okay and if anyone else has any thoughts then they can can just join the the the, the discussion okay and in addition to these uh vid videos we are going to have some uh, zoom meetings some group meetings uh, which would be more interactive uh, and these will happen in or be scheduled for for October and November okay so let's get to it so uh, we have uh, let's see we have uh, there we have my new stylus I'm trying out very good hopefully um, Problem set two has been published, and uh, the due date is uh, some September twenty eighth. Okay, and that's three weeks. Uh, and after today's lecture, or lecture four, uh, you should be able to uh, do exercise uh, three. And we can't stress enough that you should write your name on the first page names of all the uh, people in the group okay and if groups have changed uh, or or you have uh, started a new group then then just uh, write me okay and uh, let's see office hours okay in my office hours uh, will not be physical attendance uh, they will be Zoom meetings and I will be available uh, Wednesdays from 8.30 to 12, okay? But remember to write me an email at least the day before so we can schedule a uh, time because I'm not going to like sit, sit and wait uh, all that time. And let's see and I hope that the the lecture videos will be posted every Wednesday okay um, let's see and now for the course the fun part okay um, so for parts two and three which is the middle part of this course um, we are looking into making decisions based on inference okay so we use data and logic to infer something about a certain population okay a pop population can be customers it can be cars or offices or stores or whatever and we're going into uh, experiments and causality okay because what we really want to know is a causal relationship okay why two uh, groups differ and this causality um, can be found by performing ex experiments okay and you might think that why do we need statistics well we need it because we are given limited data and just think about it it's like if you had all data every single data point then you would know the whole population you you would know the population mean and you would 
I don't know the population or difference in the mean of population one and the mean of population two. And so if you already knew that, then you wouldn't need statistics. Okay. So <clears throat> um, if you have all data, you already know, know the answer. Whereas if you have no data, then you only have a belief. Okay. And you can't really say an, anything substantive about that belief other than it's your belief, okay? But when you start working, uh, you will be challenged on your beliefs. And statistics gives us um, kind of a tool to uh, say how confident we are on that belief, okay? So um, it really gives us um, like a probability we can assign to our belief. So what we are going to talk about is that uh, we have two groups that we would like to compare, be maybe because if, if one group is more profitable than the other group, then we buy some investment could uh, harvest the the gain from from the most profitable group right and if you find a difference for example a difference in probability or a difference in profitability between two groups how do you know this difference is not a fluke okay due to random noise so that if you took a different sample from the populations, then you would get a different answer. Uh, and what we would like to do is assign a probability. To our belief, OK? Uh, so and and that's why we use the statistical tests. And what you really want to know is the causality between these two two groups okay you want to know what causes the difference of the means okay or uh, proportions and if you want the causality then the best thing you have is experiment okay and because in an experiment, you just um, uh, you you uh, have a random draw from a population, and you can assign uh, a different um, a different treatment to to those two populations. Okay, so for example, uh, in A B testing. Uh, one group gets a treatment. Sorry for my handwriting. It's not the fault of the stylus. And you have um, a different group which gets uh, no treatment. And this is often called the control group. Okay, so you would like to know if there is a difference between the, these groups, right? But the difference can be due to a factor that you have not thought about. And that would be uh, a confounding or similarly lurking variable equivalent, equivalently. Uh, so these confounding variables, they are quite dangerous for our inference, statistical inference. So we want to know uh, methods to avoid these confounding uh, variables. OK. So uh, the agenda for uh, lecture four uh, is <coughs> we're going through chapter 17 the first part of chapter 17 and we 
are going to look into experiments and A-B testing, which we have uh, talked a bit about. We are going to talk more about confounding variables and how we can avoid them. And we are going to look into two sample means in or two sample tests for differences in means or proportions, which uh, we want to uh, uh, look at the difference between two groups. So for example, in means, then we have like um, the population mean uh, for population one or group one, uh, and look at the difference uh, between the means of two groups, okay? And these are the population means. And these cannot be observed because if we did observe them, then we would not need statistics, right? Uh, and so we take a sample from population one and average it. And we take a sample from population two and average it, and then we get an observable difference. It might be zero, okay? And uh, this, uh, this difference is often a real number, okay? Like a number on the number line. So it can be kind of any number. Whereas proportion, <coughs> So this can be like the, the average profitability of a group of customers, less the average probability of a different group of customers, okay? Whereas uh, if you look at processes that are either uh, yes or no, like yes, the customer bought something or no, the customer did not buy something, um then then you look at proportions okay because then you can calculate the the uh, proportion of customers that buy something okay so the population proportion uh is is just assigns the letter p okay and this this uh uh uh, this um, sorry population proportion is not observed okay it's not observable so you have to make a sample or take a sample of the two proportions right and this uh, th this number you get is a number between uh, zero and one okay Be because it's a proportion and it cannot be equal to zero or equal to one. And we're going to look into that later, okay? And based on these differences, you would like to say how confident are you um, that this difference is different from a certain number, okay? Often you check if this difference is diff different from zero, but it can be a different test, like uh, it can be different from seven, for example, okay? It's, it, it's your test. And we can look into how we are performing those tests. And uh, we are also going to brush on uh, Hawthorne effects. And the Hawthorne effects are really just the effect of people observing someone and those people know that they are observed okay so for example if a customer knows that he or she is observed then uh, that customer might change uh, his or her behavior okay so uh, lastly for this uh, this uh, first video, what should you take away from this lecture, okay? And 
what you should know after this lecture is how to uh, actually conduct a statistical test. Okay. Let's say your boss comes to you and says, okay, what kind of packaging for this product is, is most profitable. Okay. Then you would have to know how to, to run such a test and, uh, among two groups, right? Those who bought the, the, the first packaging or the second pack packaging of the same pro product. Okay. And you should know, or you should understand the results you get from the test. Okay. And you should know how to interpret the comparison. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, what it means for the business. So, and, and what kind of uh, pitfalls there might be. Okay. So uh, that's all for now and see you next time. Let's see.